Yo, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. After a busy transfer window, well, not so busy, but for United Standards, it has been a busy transfer window. Well, we've been successful to sign in at least five to seven players. Let's see. Lenny Oro, Matthias Delight, Manuel Lugate, we have the Senegalese, I can't remember even his name, Joshua Zaxi, Mazrawi, I think he's six. Well, I'll just give you a confirmation in my next live video. Rasmus Hoyland is back to personal training. You know, I was having that feeling of the number nine is going to be competitive. The number eight is going to be competitive. The number 10 is going to be competitive. The number six is going to be competitive. The right back, the left back position, the right wing, the left wing position is going to be competitive this season, especially the start of this season. In order to finish well, you must at least have a good start. Even if it's not a perfect start, at least you must be somewhere there in order to claim a good spot at the end of the season. That's what at least I thought until until i saw the notification from manchester united and also fabrizio romano and some trending twitter posts about mason mount having an injury what is wrong with us having an injury crisis in man united what's not happening with the medical team are these guys not prescribing players like the correct starter pack like for instance this should be your meal this should be your physical training this should be your mental training i mean we have physios we have doctors all that comprises of medical team like it appears to be a joke and especially since we signed that medic from arsenal and when they were in arsenal they also had faced similar similar issues the injury issues in arsenal those times when it was between december and february you would just know automatically arsenal are gonna have injury crisis and this thing has been transferred to united and i'm not liking it it's not cool i'm not even gassed for the weekend bro mason mount is someone who i've really wanted to give a chance i as a united fan in my heart to give mason mount a chance to prove himself that even though he was a weird signing that he can do something for the team and in the past two games that guy has really played well like first to anyone who says that he hasn't been playing well nah bro you're watching a different match that guy's been putting in efforts bro he's been the one pressuring opponents from the front he's been leading that offensive well you remember that assist he gave during the preseason i think the second second last game or the last game of the preseason there was a run he made that was really good and the press for the last two games the fullerham one and uh, the the last game we played brighton one he really played well it's only that it's ten hands fault putting in two false number nine who are actually number tens it's his fault but we're not here talking about force and things like that it's just the injury crisis now how sure are we that rasmus hoyland is gonna come back to the squad and just in one or two games is gonna get injured again or somewhere someone in the squad like Martinez, who knows, Kobe Mainu, Rashford, all these players, bro, you know them. There must be something wrong with our medical team. But first, man, United has done something good in this transfer window. And since Ineos took over, the transition was kind of slow and shitty, but the implementation so far so good, uh, really good. I, re I recommend them for that job. Just looking forward to see the recovery of Mason Mount, Rasmus Oiland, Luxio, Malasia, all these players, man, who are injured. We've also made some significant moves, especially, you know, offloading some players like, you know, Scott McTominay and uh, Honey Bomebri and some of a couple of youngsters that I'm going to talk about in my life that i'm gonna do next in my channel i don't know if i'm gonna do the live today or tomorrow but i know on sunday you might do a watch along so you might as well tag along so make sure you smash the thumbs up button for this video so that you may reach a wide audience i feel passionate about my club united i've supported this club since i was a youngster since the ages that we never had tvs we would only hear matches from the radio from the news from newspapers and now i'm at a point where i can access the internet and watch united games watch the highlights listen to other united forums and platforms i thank god for that so if you are a united channel out there and you want sessions where you can chat and join in zooms and calls and things like that even if you are a small channel we can always grow together and let's build a community enough of the yapping let me meet you in the next video probably it's gonna be alive let me see you in the next upload peace out